I've said that you can be an intelligent person and be able to hold down a job and you can be if um, uh, very good in your field, be it uh, uh, journalism, uh, medicine, uh, construction, engineering, accounting, you name the field, uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do and you can still be stupid. There we go. There we go. Where's the... Uh... Oh, okay. Anyway, we're uh, back again annoying people the truth because... Loads of people dislike the truth. Yes, <coughs> but not only that... On a positive note... On a positive note... Lots of people love to hear the truth. Yes, there are a growing number of people who actually prefer listening to the, the truth, truth rather, rather than, than all the bullshit. Than all the bullshit. So... It's unsurprising why um, we are here yet again um, <clears throat> giving people what they want. Giving people what they want, you know, giving people what, uh, you know, some truth for a change. Absolutely. Sure, yeah. But um, oh. how are you, Peter? Are you well? Are you well? Or are you well? Well. Well. well what can I say? <laughs> well, yeah, that's a well. big hole with water in it. Yeah. Well, it's a very big hole as well. Absolutely, of course. The one Eratosthenes used. Eratosthenes? Was it yeah. er Eratosthenes or Eratosthenes? How would you pronounce his name? Eratosthenes. Peter? Or Eratosthenes. Eratosthenes. Well, I'd have to go back in time to understand the Greek dialect. Absolutely, Especially of with a bit of Egyptian influence. Absolutely. To know whether it was... Eratosthenes. Yes, because the thing is with Greek language... Eratosthenes. Is that the Greek, or even something else. The Greek language could have changed an awful lot over 2,000 years. Absolutely, Pete, because we, even you and I both know that language changes can change even over 20 years. Absolutely. But the words that everyone will always stick to throughout all those years are derogatory terms <laughs> like fuck, shit, piss, piss, bollocks. Bollocks, yeah. Absolutely, all these words will be in man's existence for yeah. thousands and yeah. thousands of years They're concreted, to come. Concreted into into man. They've been cemented. cemented absolutely, yes, that's the term of course. Was, it? Anyway, now. But anyway, no. Oh. I was actually <sighs> going to say that I have a funny feeling. Not that I'm laughing, mind you. But Are you going to do a, bit, a little bit of um, fortune telling? I'm going here? to do a bit of fortune telling here. Here we go. Hold on. Are you ready now? Yeah. Yeah, no, it is our understanding. No, one of those. No, it is our one. understanding. It is our understanding that, that something, something is brewing. Is brewing. Something is going to happen. I, yeah, well, we, I yeah, we, we, yeah, we, yeah, we, three sure. weeks time. Yeah, something. you could be wrong, you know. No, no, no. But well, it could be a little thing that happens. You might go, uh, walk no, out no. your front door. Okay. You might cross the road. You something. might go somewhere you've never been before. I, I reckon something, something will happen that will change my. Uh, yeah, it just feels as things are changing. Our, our routine, our yeah. way of life. Some things do. It, it does feel over the past few weeks. Uh, yeah, over the past few weeks, mm. it does feel as if things are moving, things are changing, and yeah, it, yeah. you know things are going to come to a head, as it were. But uh, it's just interesting yeah, times. It's well interesting to be, um, you know, rather than have a stagnant, stagnating life where you feel as if. Your you're life's not going, not going anywhere, anywhere. Um, and you're just doing the same thing all the time, going to work, coming home, going to work, watching a bit of TV or whatever, going on the computer, then, and then going, getting, going to bed and then getting well, up, going to work, you know, doing the same thing like a lot of these all the time, do. all the time, like and not really having, enduring the, your lifestyle, but not really having any significant life-changing event. And I have to admit that um, experiencing life-changing events are... Um, are beneficial for personal growth absolutely yes because mm. um you know it's so easy to get in in a situation in life where we feel as if we're stagnating you yeah. know and, and uh, for those for those globies who don't know what the word stagnating means it means that you're not going anywhere it means that you feel as if your life's not going anywhere, anywhere. anywhere. you're not moving you're not moving at all you're not um yeah you're not being generative 
Absolutely. Ooh, yeah. Anyway. You're not following your heart. You're not following your heart. And that's the now important that's part. That's the most important Absolutely. Thing. Anyway, now on tonight's little ditty, we've got, we've got quite, and it's hopefully it'll be an go. interesting one for everyone. Um, because I, th- I, th- I think talking about Wolfie all the time could be quite boring. Because, um, yep. if to, I mean, no offence to the guy. You know, he's probably a, a nice guy once you get to know him. But wow. his, he- his head's up his backside. And yeah. I, th- I personally think he's just a boring individual. Yeah. He's got yeah. no, I bet he's got no fun in him whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he doesn't... Well, I wonder when the last time he laughed. Oh, right, well, yeah. When he actually point, laughed. Yeah. I never hear it... I've, I don't think I've even heard him laugh on his videos. Yeah, but someone could say the same about you and me. Well, we laugh, don't we, Peter? Oh, <laughs> oh that was a cracking one, that was. Oh, yeah. yeah. E by gum, lad, there, oh, Peter. Right. You, that was a lovely joke yeah. you just so, said. So now. Yeah, but if, we had, we had, didn't we have... If, um, we, if we have any, any Globy watching... We had, we yeah. cracked up at... Um, What's that? What's his name? Um... Oh, anti snoring. Anti snoring. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, those, um, oh, oh s- strap on, uh, those stick on, stick on, those adhesive things. Oh, well, they chin up, chin up strips. <laughs> I mean, we cracked up laughing like, like that. But I very rarely hear, you know, people like Wolfie, I very, hear, very rarely hear him laugh on his videos. Oh, none of them. So, no, so no, no. maybe, maybe this is a sign for Wolfie <clears throat> to actually start being so, a bit, expressing a bit more humanness and actually laughing <clears throat> and showing some ge- authenticity, <clears throat> so genuine emotion no, 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 in no, his no. videos. So, what we do, what we've done for all you globies out there, all you globies out there who are watching this show, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to insert that clip just for you. Oh yes, the, the chin up, clip. the chin up, strip. just for you, just to. See if that makes you laugh. See if that makes makes you laugh. Puts a smile Smile on your face because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Being happy. Being happy. And if you can't be happy in your life, there's something seriously wrong. Don't blame us. And don't blame us. You know, we're not. I I didn't cause anyone to be unhappy in life. Hmm. Knowingly cause anyone to be unhappy in life. Anyway. Yeah. Sure. Now we had to watch the video. We had to watch this video. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we go? Here we go. We're just going to watch this video. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, go on. Are you ready? Go on then. Right, okay. Here we go. How to use Snorkarm Snor- Chin Up Strips. I'd like to show you how easy it is to use Snorkarm Chin Up Strips. It's really important that your face should be clean and dry before putting on a chin up strip. You may think this odd, but it's worthwhile putting a little bit of Vaseline around your face and before you put on your chin-up strip. Oh. I've, got, I've got to say one thing, though, while we're doing this. I wouldn't show that, do you think? Quickly. I reckon, because you can tell, one thing I look at when I look at people is whether they've got a, a wedding ring on. The guy's married. And the guy's married, he's got a wedding ring on. And I reckon his wife has told him, sort your snoring out. Sort it out, otherwise you can sleep on a fucking sofa, right? <laughs> It's last time you're coming up here in my yeah. bed, Mike. Yeah, anyway. Snoring your head off. Anyway. I've woken up three times fucking last night. Anyway. And then wipe off any excess with a tissue. I mean, you can... Uh, Who uh, wants to be doing all this shit? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? When all he's got to do is get a divorce. Absolutely. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And another thing, <laughs> I mean, if you look around his eyes, his eyes are very dark. Darkened around his He's eyes. Got very, I mean, uh, yeah. Dark patches. Some, some people do have the dark patches around their eyes. Yeah. And now that is, it's, they are striking, though, because you, you and I would have a difference of a, you, opinion to mainstream as to why people have dark patches. Yeah, basically. But, um, but anyway, but that sort of follows on from thought. What we were talking about earlier. Sure, but it will make removing the chin up strip that much easier in the morning. First you need to yeah, remove strip, the chin up strip from the backing paper. Let's try to avoid touching the strip as much as you can. There you go. He's going to have an afternoon snooze here, look. There he is. Oh, he's just woken up. He's going to go back from home and sleep because he enjoyed it so much. He enjoyed it so much. The chin up. Like this. Get ready. Get ready, everyone. Shine this home. I hope you are. Now 
Anyway, but on tonight's little ditty, we're going to have a little look. Uh, so we're going to have a little scour around the, some web pages. Um, we're going to have a look at heat, hence the, the name, because the heat is on, baby. And we're also going to be having a little quick look at nitrogen extracting or more specific more specifically extracting nitrogen from the air yeah and we're going to have a little look back at boiling because some people like frank clowder crowder 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 um seems to can't seem and to get people. his head around what plain simple boiling means no he seems to jump the term heated and just get to Boiling point. No, he, no, he's going to boiling point. We're not talking about boiling point. Yeah. Whereas he is. Um, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not I've, I've yeah. not even mentioned it. Absolutely. But uh, and maybe if we got time, we're going to have a look at a few comments because um, we've been busy discussing lots of shite with people because people love talking about shit. Absolutely. All the time. Absolutely. Unbelievable. And the globe Earth is one of them. Absolutely, of course, yeah. Anyway, oh, yeah. Um, got anything on the uh, on the on the thing to recap on? Anything? Any talks or any <clears throat> gossip going down? Any gossip um, before we get started. No. Oh, it's all gone quiet. Well, so no, I take probably, it. No, I'll probably think of something. Absolutely. So, yeah. well, let's get on with our song. Apart from when I go shopping, I do actually talk to talk to yeah the cashiers and all that lot. Oh yeah. So right, people. Quite miserable round here. Yeah, fucked they? up. Fuck, they? Yeah, pe people are went, literally to, fucked up. I went, I went into the city centre. Now this is Chester city centre. This is one of the the um, yeah uh, strongholds of England. Strongholds of England. England. Yeah. I went in there into the town early this morning. I looked at people, and I thought, wow, mm. all these people are fucked up. Fucked up. Unhappy. Um, they, they're lacking life life in them absolutely it's, it's as been, if they're walking dead they're walking dead it's been drained, dead. Dead. It's been drained from this them. is the globe society this is the globe society absolutely of course yeah it's crazy you know, so when you're walking down the street and you've got a big smile on your face you'll absolutely. feel certainly out of it absolutely, you won't feel part yeah. of any of it absolutely oh so is that is that why you and i don't feel part of it then pete oh that could well be that why we I don't feel so part too, yeah. of it really it's because we are a lot happier than a lot of other people yeah. still there we go anyway but uh, so let's get on with with our song mm. oh yes where's our song gone oh here we, we go. go no this Very is apt as well absolutely the heat is on of course yeah. the heat is on this with glenny fry the heat is on that yeah frying pan there's probably a lot of heat on the, the fine pan. It's on that. It's on this. Absolutely. I should be using my, my little dizzy do. Got one drumstick. Oh, it sounds like. It's good for um, your rhythm, getting your rhythm. The heat going. is on. On the street, inside your head, Absolutely, inside your head, the soul that on is. every beat, and the beat so loud. Deep inside, the pressure's high just to stay alive, because the heat is on. Whoa! 
Oh, 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 caught up in the action, I've been looking out for you. Oh, 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 tell me, can you feel it? Tell me, can you feel it? Tell me, can you feel it? The heat is on. The heat is on. The heat is on. Oh, it's on the street. Oh, it's on the globe. And the heat is on. There we go. Thank you ever so much, Glenny. Okay, Glenny. Glen Frying Pan. Yeah, Glen Frying Pan. Or is it Glen Frey? Was it Glen Frey? Frey. Oh, well, probably, yeah, yeah. Glen Frey, not oh, Glen Frey. That's how you pronounce it, it's Glen Frey. Glen, F- Glen Frey. Or is it, it Glen Frey? Sounds like Frey? a place in Scotland, doesn't it? Glen Frey. Oh, right, yeah. Glen, Glen Frey. Glen Frey. Perhaps anyway, thanks talking. ever so much. Uh, thanks ever so much. Uh, Glen for that, son. Glen for that, that's lovely. And um, now... Now you came. Now we watched. Now you came up with something quite a little Carol, bit interesting um, about web pages, didn't you? Oh, right, yeah, web pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I actually wonder. Now let's get back on our. A lot of the information that when you go on some websites and it says uh, when when it was dated, the article. So and a it, web page or and some it says, information. What what we've discovered is that what they do now is they just say updated. Yeah. March 2018 absolutely but you don't know when it was actually written when it was actually published absolutely. what they do, what people uh, what, what you've noticed and that and it's more than plausible and that is a lot of web web pages um, they're um, they're getting rid of the published date and they're just putting an updated date so when an article was updated for example yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't know when the so original... So you don't know when the original was actually uploaded. Yeah. It could be 10, 20 years old, but you're given the impression when you visit the page... That it's new. That it's new. It's recent. It's, recent. it's fresh. They're like giving people the impression that man's not stagnating, man's developing in his world, mm. and things are changing, ever-evolving. Absolutely, of course. Now, but what one... they're doing... It's just changing dates. Yeah, we'll have to give you. We'll have to give you one That's example of this. Absolutely, all they're doing, all they're doing changing, changing dates. Because fuck all changes. Absolutely. We'll have because to give you. Man is still an animal. Oh, that's another conversation that we we we've overlooked there, Pete. Yeah, I just want. Can I? Can you write that down and then I can? Because this is. Um, yeah, we've, I mean, got to be we've, quick, we've been on this before, and um, it's like this. Wait there, I'm waiting for the page to. Simply yeah. psychology. Yeah, simply psychology. We've been on this site before, maybe two years ago, and had a little look at Eric Erickson's developmental uh, Stages. psychosocial theory. And um, it's on here. It says Saul. By, the the article was written by Saul McLeod, updated 2017. Now, when we actually um, did a video on Eric Erickson, okay, and covered this. Um, it was published 2008, Eight. yeah, and it was updated, last updated 2013. Yeah, but the information stays exactly the same, more or less. They all they do is they just swap over little bits. That's all they do. Swap paragraphs around, more or less. But you're given the impression when you come to visit this this site that it's new, that it's, it's fresh, new, fresh, updated yeah. 2017. Well, how recent can you be? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we we think that this is a good a, a good strategy that a lot of um, web developers and web uh, web uh, page writers are using to make their material fresh, new, even though it could be ten years old. Especially if you employ bots to update the information. Absolutely. If you up if you use bots to update the information, then you've got no problem. You don't have to pay people. Absolutely. All you've got to do is this simply psychology, for example, they could they could have um, they could have a company. They could sign up to a company that makes a psychological them, bot. That that actually goes through all of their web pages and updates Thanks. them Absolutely. for them. Yeah. Yeah. And just changes the date and changes the bits around on the yeah. page. Yeah. That's all they've got to do. You don't know this. You don't know, who knows? But that's just one example. And probably in other words, one example of many, many, many. In other words. What you and me are both because when you actually look at life for brass tank level Nothing changes. Nobody needs the internet. Nobody needs the internet at all. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody needs it at Nobody all. Nobody needs it at all. Absolutely. In order to survive. Absolutely. One's always got to realise that the only thing that people truly need, truly need in their life, 
are the things that help them survive. survive. Absolutely. Yeah. If they can get on without, if they can get along, if they can get by without things, <coughs> then they don't need these things. Oh, but I can't. I wouldn't know what to do without my TV. There are people out there. Um, yeah, there are people out there. There, there, <laughs> there, there. But it's crazy. The mentality of people. There, there are oh, people out there who can't survive. Who say they can't yeah, survive without their television? Because you, you and I don't have a TV. And when we say to people, we don't have a TV. What on earth do you never do? Never had a TV in, in fifteen. You haven't got a TV since ninety-five. Really? Some people say, oh, "I couldn't live without my TV." And you think, why are you that lonely? Oh, right, yeah, some people... Are you that lonely? Yeah, some people can't live without their TV, but could probably live without their husband or wife. Well, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, anyway. But anyway, now, um, but that's something that's worth looking out for when you when people go um, surfing on the internet, looking at articles. Come on, let's move on. Come on. Um, I thought you were going to mention something about something else. No, it's the just... RSPB. Oh, right. Anyway. No, oh, anyway. Yeah, oh, anyway. No, anyway. So that was well, that one. So we did the webpage. Let's on heat. Heat is on. Oh, you were, I th thought you wanted to do that one. No? Well, let's do this one first. Oh, right, okay, let's do this. Now, heat. Now, I've been exchanging. <clears throat> well, ever um, since we, we did the video about people thinking you can boil water in a vacuum. Yeah. There's uh. still, we're still getting comments from some Globies. From some, from some Globies. Who are saying that the word boil doesn't mean to apply so, heat. Absolutely. Now we've um, on oxygen should be renamed to Calogen. Um Frank Crowder. Um, Frank Crowder. Um, let's go from. Where should we go from? Well, you go from the beginning. Well, you well, well you can go from here actually, can't you? You oh, actually. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. I've mentioned this in a post on your air and water, but I'll say it again here. The boiling point of a liquid. Oh, sorry, right there. I've got to. <clears throat> the boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which its vapour pressure equals the external pressure. Absolutely. This is almost, almost exactly the same as Wikipedia says in its first sentence for boiling point. points. Absolutely. What you read about, about heating, heating the liquid until it bubbled, bubbled and, and then this new, new high temperature, temperature being it's the, same, it's the thing. same thing. No, it's not, because we're talking about heat. So We're talking about a process. Absolutely. We, so we responded, you're missing the point. The definition of something being boiled involves the process of applying point heat. heat. Was there any heat applied to the water inside the vacuum chamber? No. No. Did you see the thermometer increase? No. Therefore, the water inside the vacuum chamber was not boiling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, even I would agree. It needs totally would a agree. different word to explain what is happening. happening. But boiling just isn't the right one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so Frank so Crowder kind of, replies try, yet again. Try googling definition of boiling point, and the first half dozen or so answers all say that it is when the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the external pressure. There is no mention of heat being applied. So I agree. Yeah. That the usual cases of a liquid with a higher boiling point than the ambient temperature and heat will be needed to increase the vapor pressure to that of the surrounding air pressure. but it is equally valid to say that you have caused something to boil by the process of reducing the surrounding pressure to the vapor pressure of the liquid at the temperature prevailing at that time so we have to spell it out to this guy because frank he can't <laughs> seem to understand I mean, what I can heat understand means. his point i know where he's coming from yeah i i, I can understand his from. point of view but it, there's a distinction in the wikipedia page it says heat through yeah. through heating yeah from wikipedia there is no heating boiling. involved in that um, boiling boiling um, water in a vacuum chamber boiling is a rapid vaporization of a liquid which occurs when a liquid is heated heated to its, to its boiling, boiling point, point. Heated, heated heated to reach its boiling point okay so, what boiling will always involve something that's heated going on that definition what does heated mean means to be to made warm or hot. A heated swimming pool. A heated swimming pool. Other applications. Heated blankets. Heated clothes. Synonyms. Areas. Made warm. Made heated. hot. Warmed up. Yeah. Heated to be pissed off or raised in temperature. Heated rollers. Yeah, I've spelled it out for you because heat. you clearly do not understand what heated means. The only reason omitting this important word is making him confused about the supposed equilibrium state of the liquid inside the vacuum. Oh, sorry, chamber. yeah. I know what heated means, as I said before. If I Google definition of boiling point. Uh, oh, he's replied. In the first page of hits, including we, no mention of heat is made. We're not referring to the boiling point. We are referring to boiling. Wait there. 
process of, of boiling. Of boiling. boiling. Yeah. 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 Wake up, man. Yeah, wake up. Absolutely. We're talking about boiling. boiling. We're not talking about the boiling mm. point. We, we, there's no mention of that. We're not interested in that. Yeah. We're talking about boiling. But one thing, you and, you and I haven't looked at the definition of boiling. Because point. boiling is the rapid vaporization of a liquid which occurs when a liquid is heated. Absolutely. You don't even need to mention boiling, boiling point, point Absolutely. in that Two definition. Boiling point. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, we, we can't help interpreting all of, or trying to make sense of all of this confused nonsense. 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 You get one definition from <clears throat> Wikipedia, you get in some guy, Frank, who's telling you something completely different. different. I mean, come on. We're living in 2018. Team. We can't even agree on what boiling fucking means. Absolutely. What yeah. is wrong with this society Absolutely. that we live in? Absolutely. Yeah. It's fucked up. I'm telling you. It's oh, well, really yeah. fucked up. Oh, well, yeah. This is just one prime yeah. example. People can't even agree on what boiling, boiling means. means. Oh, well, yeah. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. Isn't it? it's crazy. crazy. Yeah. This society is filled with insane people. Crazy people. Crazy people. Anyway, come on. That's, that's that one done. <laughs> Oh, that's all I but anyway, so that's that one. Now, I've been very interested in gassing away to someone who skedaddled, uh, which was a shame because I was quite enjoying <coughs> the exchange of... Um, the exchange that's of... produced. Oh, the exchange of banter. Now, yeah, because sometimes it's quite, quite Sometimes pleasant. it's... Now, Tommy Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> now, Tommy Gunn... Oh, no, it's one of these, isn't it? Tommy Gunn. No, it's not. No, it's not. Tommy. It's a handheld oh, well, machine, yeah, machine gun. German machine gun. <laughs> That's 50, Put them up, you dirty 50 man. jerrys I've got. <laughs> yeah. 50 jerrys I've got. Pete. Absol absolutely, yeah. Ask any pot smoker or organic chemist. Wait there, let's make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, when they want to shatter. Ask any pot smoker or organic chemist when they want shatter. They use... When they want shatter... I don't know what he means by that. They use a vacuum oven to lower the boiling point. Oh, now, really they're quick. just talking boiling points. Frank Ch Chowder, is it Chowder? Yeah. He's talking boiling points. But we're talking about boiling. boiling. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's boiling it's, point. What, what we're talking about is the application of the word, these globies. It's when the they process. When they apply the word boiling. Absolutely. Because what they should have said in the title of these videos, showing water, reaching its boiling yeah, point but you're not, in a vacuum but chamber. The, yeah, sure. Of a liquid, what you are observing is the fact that the English language is shit and was changed and simplified. This keeps the masses stupid. Heat does not need to be used. Heat is a byproduct of, of a, a reaction. reaction. Okay. Cut me 11 now, replies. Sh yeah, I, th I found that quite interesting. Now, one thing that we, we have got to mention about heat, and especially with water in a vacuum chamber and the vaporization, and that is that when a, when a substance is vaporizing from a liquid state, its pressure, the liquid pressure is equal to the pressure being exerted on that liquid. Okay, mm. okay, okay. You now, don't get that in a vacuum chamber. In a vacuum chamber, all that pressure that's exerting on the liquid is being reduced <laughs> because it's being sucked away. So it will get to a point where there's no pressure acting on that liquid. Absolutely. How then can it be boiling? Absolutely. How then can uh, it vaporise? That's a good point there, Pete. When there's no I pressure acting that. on the liquid. It's ridiculous it's crazy. how people crazy. interpret science because science is a mess. It's it a total, is. It is. When you it's a total look at it, mess. It's a total mess. It doesn't, a lot of it just doesn't, it's, it's all patched patched together. Yeah, yeah. Pieced sewn together. together. Piecemeal. Piecemeal, absolutely. Yeah. If it works, they'll bung it in and they'll try and f squeeze it in that's, to fit round yeah, and make up ideas just to oh, make, it, that, make it work. That's the reason why, because a lot of science, you know, because science is a religion, because yeah. you have some scientists who have created the Orthodox Church of um, uh, France. Then you had the the scientists who have created the uh, Euclidastical Church of England. Yeah, yeah. But they're all having different ideas and different they use different ideas, different ideas on what words mean. Absolutely, but you've got different departments within science. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can you can explain something from a biological framework. You can you can explain something from a computational framework. I know, yeah. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous how you've got so much division within 
one particular area. Within one particular yeah, area, yeah. Field. Rel religion, got so many divisions. You, science, so many divisions. Anyway, anyway. But anyway, um, anyway. So after eleven replies, because mm. I thought the this was getting quite good, and um, because you mentioned no heat, heat, <laughs> no heat. heat alters substances present within a chemical reaction, and heat is always associated with an increase in, in temperature. temperature. Yeah, I would okay. go with that. Yeah. And you Tommy, are funny. You, you are funny. You mean start. to say hot things get hot, and you need chemical to do this? Your to do this? You're way off, guys. Can't tell if your disinfo is on purpose or you are trying to sound smart without the, the knowledge. knowledge. Well, yeah, you can't even spell knowledge. Doesn't matter. So, do you not agree that applying heat to a substance means that a chemical reaction is taking place? Oh right, yeah. Surely, if we if, you apply if we heat apply to a heat to a substance, a chemical reaction will take place. Absolutely. Do you not? Also, you have not addressed the problems with the English language, nor the fact that pot smokers have been boiling bod in butter and getting high. I do not mean altitude; I mean off their face. And if heat is always present in a chemical reaction, uh, why would the water freeze on top in a vacuum? Heat only speeds up a chemical re process. As you stated, the way you deliver the heat is very important. Flame or kiln, blah, 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 blah. So I've, I wrote, in physics, there is no such thing as cold, only heat. So it is also possible to reduce heat and still have heat. Mm. Reduce the amount of heat, but still have heat. Yeah, you still got you know, it. Yeah. You still have heat. Makes sense, right? Either way, heat is an integral part of a chemical reaction because heat has the ability to alter stuff substances e.g. magnesium to magnesium oxide. Yeah? Makes sense, right? Absolutely. When you really do think about it, heat is an important part oh, right, within yeah. chemical reactions. Because... And the, guess that, what? That is very, they overlook it. Yeah, because very that's very true, that is. Just as much as um, the NASA and all these... Uh, omit the stars. Omit the stars. They omit air in the atmosphere when they're describing how rockets work. Absolutely, of course. In physics, there's no such thing as cold. Cold doesn't exist. Absolutely. I mean, it depends on... I mean, you can... You can it's up to you whether you want cold to exist or not. To no, no, but in physics... But in physics, they don't have cold. It's just heat. But a cold fridge refrigerator can have... Will have some heat in it, but it's not much. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, anyway. but not so. Not always. Tommy gun. Tommy gun. Not always. H H O, which is um, H two O, water can be ice water or steam just by adding heat. This is not chemical reaction. This is melting. Sim simple. But if you place electric plate, pos and negative apply current, you can separate hydrogen and oxygen when done properly. Not much heat is generated. Uh, no, I'm not. So I, I, I replied, so melting and even boiling, you don't consider chemical reactions taking place. Hmm, interesting that chemists go on so much of bonds and molecular structure and yet don't include the alterations within processes, oh, well. as in melting and boiling. boiling. Yeah. Selective chemistry at work. Absolutely, read more. Absolutely. Read more. Um, by the way, you can't electrolyze water. Absolutely. One only electrolyzes the substance added to, to the, the water. water. Unless, of course, you have actual proof to back up your claims. Tommy, <laughs> feel free to share. Absolutely. Tommy Gunn replies with two. All right, two. No way cold does not exist. No I think, way cold does not exist. I think you have been smoking pot yourself. But lots of physics, physics, physicists will tell you cold doesn't exist. You've only got heat. Yeah, only yeah, heat yeah. exists. You have tried to deflect the response I gave. Ice, water, steam, no chemical change. Also, heat goes to cold, not the other way around. Look at an air conditioner; it can blow hot or cold by using transfer effects. Ice, water, steam are all HHO, just different states. I I can tell now that you do not want to discuss with me. You are stuck with arguing. I'm not a chemist. Sorry, I have to leave it there. Nice That's talking right. with you. So I replied for t two last times. I think we're on a different wavelength. Well, I think we're on different wavelengths here. Yeah. Quote, ice, water, blah, 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 no chemical change. Um, so I've, I've actually put, does no chemical change, no chemical, quote, ice, water, steam, no chemical change. Does the water structure alter, yes or no? I'd Let's say apply yes. more heat to steam. What happens to the steam? Uh, are the chemical bonds holding the hydrogen and oxygen, if they are... Well, I'm just, I'm going along with the H2O bullshit. Oh, well, yeah. Just so I don't want to confuse the guy. And being altered by the heat. 
How can you state no chemical change? It's lucky water isn't made of hydrogen on oxygen, eh? Why? Because you, I don't have to explain to him in bullshit terms that the bonds that connect these hydrogen and oxygen molecules or whatever, atoms, are changing because the, 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 in their understanding, water, H2O, then becomes steam, which if you add more heat becomes something else. How can th those states exist when you've still got the same bonds? Hydrogen, two, oxygen, yeah, one. No, yeah, How yeah. on earth can this happen? It's bollocks. And yet they still can't separate water into Absolutely. hydrogen it's, and oxygen. It's ridiculous to think that, um, that applying heat doesn't affect a substance. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. ridiculous. It's just the same. You're in your chemistry lab, and all, you, you've got you're making and these like, reactions between magnesium and uh, whatever, and you're not taking into account there's air in the room. Absolutely. And yeah. allegedly, air is made of nitrogen, and oxygen, oxygen, and all these other trace elements. Carbon dioxide. But they're not taken into is account in that reaction, are they? No. It's bollocks. No, we disregard. So, those. so uh, quote him again. Heat goes to cold, not the other way round. So light cannot consume darkness. Only darkness can consume light, because uh, you've often thought this, uh, and that is darkness consumes light. You've yeah, often thought yeah. that. Now. When you think about it, let's be fair, okay, it's got to work the other way around. And that is, light consumes darkness. If you filled a tunnel up with light, where would the darkness go? But the darkness could be... Could be uh, it may always be there. It may always be there. Absolutely, sure. But all I'm saying is... When if the you, light's gone, yeah, yeah. it's dark again. But if you fill up a tunnel with light, where does the darkness go? It's gone. Oh, well, yeah. You know, yeah. you, you've got to have it. It's got to, because there's always a duality in life. Mm. So you know, bear that one in mind. Anyway, um, so I said to Tommy, Tommy going, hey, Tommy, where are you yeah. going? Where you've going? still got to prove water is Come HHO. Back. You've got work, work to, to do. Come back. And he's fucked off. You know, it's oh, crazy. Well. But the interesting part about this is the heat. Heat changes chemical chemi chemicals. Well, heat is heat an changes the properties process, of yeah. chemicals. Heat. When we think about air, we we reach the point where when we look at air, if air is heated up to a certain temperature, <clears throat> it will change to oxygen. Oh, it's, it's it's very similar to the heat and the pH. It will change. It's very similar to heat and pH. Heat and pH, absolutely. No, yeah. heat doesn't affect pH readings. Yes, it does. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, when you think about yes. copper, if you heat up if calcium carbonate, if you heat up calcium absolutely. carbonate, yes, it does affect calcium carbonate because yeah. it turns it to calcium oxide. It makes you wonder. It makes you actually wonder that the iron, the the iron that's at room temperature, solid form of iron, and compared to the iron that's heated up mm. to say well that's over. 800 degrees centigrade has different properties has different properties Absolutely. maybe it's even a different substance altogether but chemistry doesn't want to tell anyone what doesn't want to tell anyone doesn't even no. want to go no. down that road because it's too complicated for man absolutely man's taken the easy way out absolutely you know which is why man uh, on that bubbling, on this bubbling yeah, yeah, quick, video quick. that's why man can't think of any other term to describe what's happening with yeah. water when it's placed Absolutely. in a vacuum. Human beings are they subservient. Can't, they can't, they're, yeah. they're stuck. In Human their beings are trapped in their imagination. We've, we've, got, we've got limited brain well, capacity. We've got limited brain functioning. Our brains um, limit how we think. They limit what we, what we think. What we perceive. What we perceive. Our whole bodies limit yeah. us from being truly, truly... Powerful and masterful. Or to master nature. To master nature. Our bodies limit us. Absolutely. You know, yeah. would prevent us from doing that. But our minds would love we'll to always, do it. Absolutely. Our minds would love to do it. Because but we, we can't. got the imagination. Absolutely. We've got the imagination to do it. But even the imagination is limited. Even our imagination is limited. Because they think iron is abundant in the universe that they've never been to. Absolutely, of course. Anyway. But uh, it does make on. you think, makes you realise that human <clears throat> beings are subservient to nature and always will be. Absolutely. Anyway, Come on, now moving on. on. Now, I got to a this point. Yeah, we'll do this one. I've got to do me history. Now, I found out. 
I found out today. I've got to find my... Um, the clocks go back. Absolutely, yes, of course. Clocks go forward, oh, actually. forward. They go forward. They go forward. Now, I'm sure it was this... Was it that one? I can't remember. Come I'm on, sure it's this one. I think it's this one. Welcome. Oh, no, it's not that one. Oh, no, I no, remember what It's not that one, one. It was. Do apologise. Can you remember what one it was? Can you tell <clears> me? <throat> Scroll down. Oh, I can't Scroll remember whether it's got the guy on there or not. Uh, no. Oh, was it, I wasn't no, signed in. I wasn't. I wasn't, wasn't signed in, was uh, I, when I watched it? Oh, dear. Oh dear. I wasn't signed in. Um, what, what was it? Um, nitrogen. Magnesium. Well, we we contacted <sighs> we contacted our local. Um, we contacted. I've got to find him. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Was it that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was this yeah, one. Was here one. we go. Professor now, Abud. Yes, it was this one here. Now, I've I discovered, I discovered that um, magnesium, that nitrogen can be extracted from the air using magnesium. magnesium absolutely. Okay. Okay, now I've got I've got ed written find, evidence. Where of that. did you get that okay. from, Prince? I've got it from a very old paper by the, in that I believe it's contained in the Royal Society. Oh right, yeah. Can we get Absolutely. It up here, we? We no, we haven't got it up there because oh, we don't need it up there. So oh, right. now after oh, that after was, reading um, that bit, that was uh, uh, with kind permission from our local university. That was from kind permit. That was given to me f kindly uh, by my by the local university, university. Chester University. Yeah, because now, William William Ramsey. Back, way back in 1898, he said, he said that you can well, obtain nitrogen from the air just by burning magnesium. Just by burning, because I'd really love to know where these figures come come came from. That says that oxygen, well, that air is made up the, of the constituents of air are 78 percent nitrogen, 21 percent oxygen. oxygen, and the other trace one percent argon, and the other trace elements. I'd well, really well, love to know yeah. how they formulated that idea as far um as up until now i've come across no information whatsoever so if anyone's got any information of where that those figures have come from where please, they originate from where they originate from please feel free to let me know but anyway getting back to the point nitrogen can be extracted from air using magnesium okay right yeah. so we're on um oh because we were going to call this video where's the nitrogen where's the nitrogen absolutely so but we're on um um, <sighs> Professor Abud. Abud. Okay, so we'll just play it. Here we go. I think I should. Let's... Yeah, let's just let's just mute it. Yeah. So there he is. He's wrapping himself up in the fire blanket. Dan. So there you go. So you got. Trying to make it a bit of fun. There, there we go. He's got his goggles on. Absolutely no. No, he's got a crucible. There we go. No, not the one. Not where they place the snooker. I don't need to use this. So he's going to clean it out using hydrochloric acid because it's got it mucky. Yeah. And he should have done all this prep work before doing the video. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we yeah. don't want to know. We don't want to see if you've how done you clean all, out yeah, the crucible. Yeah, yeah. They'd make really good egg cups, wouldn't they? It's Easter coming up soon, oh, so right, get yeah. your crucibles. Yeah. Dry it with a soft uh, it flame. With soft, heat it go. with a big flame. Oh, do you reckon that's natural gas he's burning there? I reckon that's natural gas burning he's burning. With a blue flame. Absolutely. I don't think or it's hydrogen. Oh, well, yeah, because hydrogen burns with a red flame, it burns with an orange flame, it burns with... Uh, burns with many different colours Many flames, different colour flames, flames yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. Hydrogen, wow. So anyway, gas so, now he's got magnesium, there you go, he's got his magnesium metal, OK? <clears throat> Magne magnesium shavings, small little pieces of magnesium, magnesium shavings. Yeah, yeah. And he's going to... Now, this is a highly exothermic reaction that proceeds faster with more heat. So what he does is he has a gradual kind of heat not to overdo it. So cover to stop any additional oxygen, whatever. If we do not remove it from the heat source, the reaction will create enough heat and that will become self-sustaining. Yeah, in other words, it's creating oxygen, <laughs> so which will then <clears throat> return back to the... Yeah, yeah. So, so essentially what the formula for this, exp for this demonstration is um, magnesium plus oxygen will give you magnesium oxide plus heat. Okay, and light really. It should oh, be, yeah, should be light, heat and light. Heat and light, yeah. Absolutely. So there we go. So we can see it's on the on the uh, on the heat, as it were. And we can see it's glowing. It's not actually. Yeah. It's not really burning, burning, and. Poof, but it's it's just going nicely. Although, yeah, don't look straight into it on the on the thing. Yeah, blah de blah. There we go. Come on, hurry up. 
There we go. I'm just waiting. <clears throat> there we go. And there we go. Nearly yeah, there. Two on. minutes. Come on, aren't we? Well, I'm getting bored already. Yeah, I know. You know. Anyway, you're burning it. No, but this is anyway. boring. Yeah, I know, yeah. Well, oh, he's going to finish he it. Doesn't there you go. Do it. He obviously doesn't there know how to He's turned down. He's, there you go. He's finished with his Bunsen flame. Now, there we go. So, we've got magnesium metal been produced. Okay. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And magnesium oxide. So, where's the magnesium oxide? Uh, right, okay, there we go. Right. Okay, okay. Now, he's going to weigh this stuff. Watch glass not pictured. Okay, watch glass, not pictured. Okay. Oh, because he's weighing it. it, it didn't he weigh it first? Right, here we go. Remember that 2Mg plus O2 is 2, uh, magnesium, two ma magnesium oxide. A side reaction with air, obviously, because now there was air present in that room. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. A side reaction with air, which is primarily nitrogen and oxygen. Okay. Even though he's got no proof of this. Okay. He's got mm. none, no proof None whatsoever. No proof whatsoever. Um, is, the, the equation is, 3Mg plus N2 goes to magnesium nitride. Why is okay. it 3Mg? Uh, I really don't know. I don't know why his... Because his Mg hasn't, hasn't changed. Absolutely. Well, it should be... But, but, but you see, the thing is, remember that remember that 2Mg plus O2 equals 2MgO. And you've got the o oxygen okay. in the air. So... So that should be... Really, that should be 2Mg O3. But, but yeah, it should, well, it should be 2Mg, because <clears throat> how can you have... Where did the extra MG come from? Yeah, I know. Where yeah, did that? Where, where the fuck did that come from? from? You know, he's only got a limited supply that he's heating magnesium. He's only got a limited yeah. supply of magnesium in the crucible. And then you got the oxygen in the air. And you got the oxygen where in the air. Where's that come from? Where's that gone? Well, 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 where did it come from? But you've got <coughs> N two. So really, that should be two MG plus O two plus N two. Yeah, basically. Essentially, yeah. that yeah. bottom yeah. one, yeah. which would give you 2M... But then that can't give you 2MgO then, can it? No. Because all the magnesium is taken up by uh, by uh, bonding with the oxygen, and there's none to bond with the nitrogen. nitrogen. Absolutely. So uh, how can it miraculously bond the, in the in the latter part? Then? Absolutely, MG yeah. MgN2. It's bollocks. This is absolute ridiculous. Okay. Mm. But we'll carry on. Carry on. Anyway... And I'm sure we don't need to listen to him. So what he's going to do is going to squirt some water. Some water, okay? So we've got the this the what we've got here. We've got magnesium nitride plus H two O goes to three MgO, which is your magnesium oxide, plus two NH, which is ammonia, because you get ammonia given off in this uh, reaction. Okay. Mm. Okay. Go on. So, so there we go. And there we go. He's, he's uh, just added that. Underhood toxic ammonia. NH3. NH3. Now, there we go. The end. Now, what are Can I ask a question? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Where, where was the nitrogen? Well, you see, the thing is, he's, in this lab, we show how to create magnesium oxide and magnesium nitride. Now, where was the magnesium nitride? Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm trying to work this one out. Because I, for the life of me, I can't understand where he got the magnesium nitride. All he's done is just heated up. He's heated up magnesium, magnesium. oxide. No, magnesium. That's all. Magnesium. He's magnesium. He's so up. he's going to get a magnesium oxide occurring. Okay. Yeah. I and can, then I can all go he's that. done, essentially, all he's done with the magnesium, but and then as a result of that process, he's got a magnesium metal. Yeah. Okay. And the magnesium oxide should be a powder. Yeah, on the surface. It should be, it like should be a powder. Or so let's say he's got the magnesium metal and the magnesium oxide. Okay. Yeah. So what yeah. he does is that he, he adds, adds water, to it. water to the... Magnesium. To the magnesium nitride. But where did the magnesium nitride come, come from? from? Oh, right, yeah. This is Which is the MG3N2. N2. This is if he's just made it up. Where did that come from? Oh, he's, he's just made it up. Is it, in you his know, head. It's but nothing's changed with the substance from when. Oh right, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. This oh, right, is yeah. fucking ridiculous. Oh, right, yeah. So nothing from, there. from there, from that point, from there, that point, there, nothing has changed. Nothing with, magne with the magnesium, absolutely, in that crucible to adding the water. Adding the water. Nothing has changed. Nothing's changed, and yet all of a sudden he's got magnesium, magnesium nitride. nitride. Where, 
plus three H two O. It's because where did it come from? It's because he's assuming. Anybody got any ideas? Yeah. It's because he's assuming there's nitrogen in the air. Absolutely, he's assuming nitrogen's he's in the assuming. air. Assuming, absolutely. But when you really do think about it, it's absolute bollocks because there should be magnesium nitride being produced. Because the only thing that's there in that crucible. Because what what he's basically saying is that in that crucible, that crucible should have shouldn't have <clears throat> magnesium metal. It should be magnesium nitride, absolutely, and yeah. magnesium oxide. Yeah. yeah, that's what should be in that crucible. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we could give this guy a benefit of the doubt and say, well, maybe he's made a mistake. It's possible, but then oh, oh. when you look at it, oh, that's the two mg. Yeah, magnesium. Oh, but but oh, well, yeah. See, the, but he hasn't included. The, this is it. So he's got the two mg there. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he's got magnesium oxide. So he's got two mg there. With Absolutely. The yeah, yeah. And this will explain why he's got two mg plus the O two in the air. O two in the air equals two, two mg. O. Absolutely. A side reaction with air, which is primarily nitrogen and oxygen. Yeah. But is, he's assuming there's nitrogen in the air. Absolutely. It's just an assumption. He hasn't tangibly added uh, it to the absolutely but the worst thing you know the worst thing is this guy is a professor professor abud yeah we should leave him a comment and say, and say, absolutely and say where was the magnesium nitride you know yeah i know you yeah. didn't produce any as far as i'm concerned so we have to question where on earth whether there was ammonium ammonia being produced no didn't he test it in one of them he put held a oh he held a not, uh, in, not in this video. He held uh, a litmus paper. pH paper up again. pH paper, and it went blue. Or dark. It went dark. It went dark, which was... No, but yeah, but that was the presence of an alkali, though, isn't it? Hmm. If it goes dark. Doesn't no, it? No, no. It, it, it's... The paper only turns one particular colour. Oh, that's uh, blue, blue litmus paper. Or blue whatever. or red litmus anyway. paper. <clears throat> one of the two. But irrespective of that, you know, where where on earth was the... Magnesium nitride. Absolutely. Yeah. And the worst yeah. thing is with this magnesium nitride, and that is there's very few videos on YouTube concerning magnesium nitride. Nitride. Even the uh, Wikipedia page Cause um, even is that, very, very sca scarce of yeah. information. Even that MG, this side reaction with air, which is primarily nitrogen and oxygen, is 3MG, blah, 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 goes to MG magnesium nitride but it should still have oxygen because there's oxygen in the there, air there's oxygen in the yeah. air absolutely yeah of course in other yeah. Words, you can't get away from the oxygen in other words if chemistry was real was actually followed procedure and everything like that absolutely. every substance would have oxygen you see, in it absolutely absolutely you see the thing is when we look at this on the crucible now this is what was left over from after heating okay. there is, we did watch a better video actually because it actually shows you the pattern. It's when he burns it in that in that. Oh, test that was tube. the um, yeah. He was in that tube. Yeah, he actually. That burns. was a little bit more complicated. But the, oh, the only reason why I picked this video is because he's saying something when it's clearly not there. Yeah, it's clearly evident that it's not there. Yeah, yeah. And this is an example. This experiment or this demonstration is a, quite a popular one that people actually do carry out in chemistry labs. Oh, yeah, yeah. and all this lot and yet when you think about it you know, magnesium. the only thing that's the, the only thing that's left in that crucible are this are these chunks of magnesium me metal. metallic looking pieces yeah, absolutely which is magnesium metal where yeah. is the magnesium oxide absolutely yeah, yeah, Absol yeah. you know I, I can't yeah. even see mag magnesium oxide is white mm. well that's either magnesium oxide or magnesium metal oh here you go look how can it be two things? Magnesium oxide. Oh, there we go. Magnesium oxide. Here we go. Oh, oh milk there of magnesium. we go. Oh, look, look it's, it's a white, white powder. powder. Now, does that look like a white powder to you in that crucible? No. It doesn't, does it? It looks no. more like a magnesium metal. Yeah, it does, you actually. Know. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you, you have to ask yourself, where, you know, what we'd like to see is we'd like to see some proof that nitrogen is actually in the air a constituent of the air okay absolutely. Absolutely, this is what yeah. we want to see yeah because according to this information there's no nitrogen there at all is there no, no. i can't see any absolutely no. then peter looks like well, you're saying that, there. i can't see any oxygen but 
People overlook, yeah, I can't see any oxygen in this either. Yeah. People overlook that heating a substance changes its properties. And I, I've, I firmly think that. Naughty, naughty, naughty. If you, absolutely. You naughty. can get, by heating, a, by heating now, magnesium, whips you can change backside. it from magnesium to magnesium oxide. Absolutely, of course. That'll teach you. Sure. But uh, it, it does make you think about a lot of this chemistry stuff because a lot of it is just utter bollocks and science a lot of the time is piecemealed together yeah, no, patch yeah. patchwork that's all it is patchwork you know. it's like a patchwork quilt they may as well Absolutely. become um, <clears throat> seams seamsters seamstress anyway oh. i think that was well, that was that that's it really isn't it that's that's it really isn't it yes oh, no, no i was going to mention about we um mm. the other day very quickly the other day we went into uh <clears throat> you have these cheap pound shops around in this country called Poundland. Yeah, Poundland. It's okay, call them Poundland. You know, well, the whole land is it's like Disneyland. Pound. Disneyland, where you see Disney everywhere. And you go in there, and there was a. You looked ahead, past the checkout. Come on, then, Peter. Are we up now? Standing there, by a <sighs> by a stall, she had yeah, a stall, yeah. and she was holding a little toy badger. Really? And like you think, what what's, what on earth is she doing? Barry, Barry the badger. Barry the badger. So what we do is that we paid for the goods and then we went over and had a chat like you do because it's being As you friendly do, of course. you know course. hi how are you what, what's so what's so what, what's with the badger of course and she's saying well she's promoting uh bu, 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 bu. oh yes and then we look at the the promotional material she's from she's uh put up and it's got law society for the protection of birds absolutely yes. Like, yes you've got it our heads were scratching what's a badger got to do with birds absolutely of course and like she says, well, the RSPB can't afford to change the name to incorporate animals. Yeah, because they're diversifying now, the RSPB. Are, yeah, they are diversifying because yeah, they're they want going to create, into animal welfare. They want to create more jobs. They want to have more money in their in their bank account. Absolutely, yeah. The only way they can do that is by diversifying. There was, uh, there was someone in there today, actually, a different person, another person. But the worst thing is, is that they were in a, a shop where all the goods are a pound which means that a lot of people who go in there don't have much money which also means that a lot of people who go in there don't care about they wildlife couldn't give a shit about wildlife because the worst thing is is that wildlife look after themselves sure. anyway, you know what we're saying is that she's in the wrong shop absolutely and the worst thing is is that you go and talk to these uh, people who work for these wildlife uh, conservation trust people and you sit, you ask them, well, what, 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 what are you doing here? What's your problem? And all this lot. And then they say, well, wildlife are losing their homes. They're 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 getting killed because man's, and all this man's well, building. Well, what, what's what's man doing about it? You know, well, man's building so many homes and destroying the land. Well, what what, what you should be tackling that, not fucking supporting your animals Absolutely, think about it yeah. do you know what I mean why don't you look at man's behaviour why don't you look at this globe society Science. to see where it's going wrong oh, right, that's where a good people point, are so then. greedy for money where money seems to be the the all abiding we love you oh, right, money yeah. oh, right. money they should do a chant you know I bet bankers when they go to work they do a chant in the morning money ding, ding. money <laughs> Absolutely, of course. I oh, know. Because yeah, there's an crazy. awful lot of people out there who think money can solve every single problem they've got. And yet it doesn't. And it's laughable because it's, it's the least of things it's that can myth. solve their problems. Another myth. Absolutely. Just like it's compasses crazy. point north. Absolutely, of course. Wherever you are on the plane. Absolutely. Your compass will always point But uh, north. there we go. Anyway, thanks. <laughs> anyway, thanks ever so much. And... Um, Always remember, if something doesn't make sense, like trying to get magnesium nitride from burning some magnesium. Or even trying to get some When nitrogen. you can't show to anyone that there's um, um, there's nitrogen anywhere. Oh, that's what he would, that's what William Ramsey would have done. What would, to, now to, William Ramsey would have called what, the, would have called the no, air down. no. What, which means you know that he's he's adjusting the heat, which means he's altering the properties of the air. Oh well, yeah, of course. But one thing Got to remember that William Ramsey in 1898, he would have um, he would have turned his magnesium into magnesium n nitride, and then tried to obtain the nitrogen 
from that. Absolutely, but the nitrogen's been placed in the magnesium through magnesium and to, to, to make it magnesium nitride. And he may have used some nitric acid or some kind of or nitrate, nitrate or nitrate or nitride with the yeah. magnesium with the magnesium not the air he could have even burned magnesium purely in nitrogen but then he would have had to have extracted the nitrogen from the air to begin with but you can't burn anything how did you do that um, oh now that's a good point you can't can you you can't can't burn or maybe he just maybe he burned ah oh, now that's a now that is a good thing oh but maybe you can who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Who cares? All we know is, is that that guy in that video didn't produce any nitrogen. magnesium nit nitride at all. Absolutely. It was the same stuff. It was the same stuff. All he got was magnesium, metal. Yeah. That's Basically, all he, that's yeah. all he produced yeah, from it. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. And always remember, if something doesn't make sense, I'll say it again. Like getting magnesium nit nitride from magnesium. And trying to get the nitrogen from the air. Yeah, and thinking that to be part of that that um, that reaction. Yeah. And thinking that um, you're boiling water. You're boiling water without applying heat. Without applying any heat by putting it in your fridge refrigerator. Oh right, yeah. Oh, that's the point. Yeah. Well, you may as well, in your fridge, yeah. Absolutely, of course. Yeah, put it in your freezer. Oh well, look. Oh, sorry, love. Yeah, I'm just going to put the kettle on. <laughs> absolutely. And if you really think that heat isn't a component part of chemical reactions. Because it is, yeah, a, no, it no. is a component Absolutely. part of, chem of oh, chemical of reactions. And it's something they say, they say no, it's just, it's just a catalyst. It speeds up reactions heat. And you think, well, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. No, it, no, it forms part of the reaction. Be yeah, because it can actually turn the air that's around the substance into. Well, it can no. process the air and turn it into oxygen. Yeah, but heat. What heat can do is that Which it can will then get absorbed yeah. by the by the material yeah. being heated. Heat can turn one substance into another substance. Absolutely. Now that tells me that heat forms part of that All reaction. Right. When well, are we going to cover the uh, Haber process? Now we'll have to do that another time. time. Another time. We're out of time today, baby. You're out of time. You're out of touch. Anyway, anyway, thanks ever so much, and we'll see you next time. Done up. Bye. The earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat. Everywhere it's flat.